Bo was introduced in the U.S. in 2013, and now for 2024, an all-new third-generation Subaru Crosstrek will soon be hitting the streets. All-new, you say? Well, let's find out as we, we go behind the wheel with Harvey Briggs. If Madison, Wisconsin were to have an official car, <laughs> this would be it. I, I think the Subaru Crosstrek is definitely right up there, maybe with the Toyota Prius. The, those two cars define Madison for me. And the Subaru Crosstrek is popular for a number of very good reasons. It is a, an affordable vehicle. It's a very practical vehicle. It has all-wheel drive. And um, it has a little bit of a personality in a category that sometimes has a lot of vehicles that are very much alike. The sapphire blue pearl paint on our test car is not something you might expect on a Subaru. This is a 2024. 2024, so it, it will be on sale very soon. Um, it had a lot of updates from the 23 model, even though if you just look at it quickly, you go, I don't see a lot of difference. Subaru says the 2024 Crosstrek is new from the ground up. Well, you have to look closely. The grill is different, the LED headlights are smaller, and there's a lot of things you can't see. Want to pop the hood? Yeah, let's take a look at this, uh, this power bad plant. boy. It's still a two-liter boxer engine, still makes 152 horsepower, about 180 pound-feet of torque. But they made over 20 improvements to the engine to make it more efficient, uh, to just help it uh, feel more energetic. So you get a slight bump in zero to 60 time, but you can still clock it with a watch rather than a, <laughs> a calendar. <laughs> not quite a calendar, but yeah, it's uh, this is you don't buy a cross track because you want zero to 60 performance. No, a Subaru buyer is not moved by speed. It's something else. The idea of being more or outdoors focused, people who buy these cars are significantly more likely to do things like camping, mountain biking, kayaking, things like that. So they use the roof rack. And that's actually one of the benefits of this car is unlike a lot of CUVs that are taller, its lower overall height means you can reach stuff that's on the rack. You know, if you want to take your bicycle off the top, you don't have to get a step ladder to get up there. Hence the boot tray in the back. You know, you come back from the trailhead and you throw your muddy boots in there, you throw your climbing ropes, whatever on there, and you don't have to worry about getting the carpeting dirty. You just take that out and hose it down. Hose it down. We said it was a lifestyle thing. Harvey is saddened they took away the manual transmission, but there is nothing sad about the price. Our test car is a premium trim with tons of extras, and with options and destination fees, it's under $30,000. Base is $26,000. The top of the line limited is only $32,000. That's why you see so many of them on and off the road. Affordable and safe. Subaru, that's one of their things. This has the full eyesight system standard in all of their vehicles. So even in the base model, you get full, um, you know, lane departure, uh, you know, adaptive cruise control, all of that. This is, you know, just a very simple, basic, easy to live with vehicle.